hello everyone what's up it's kiki welcome back to my channel for another video and today i want to do a review on the urban decay all nighter setting spray so if you want to see my thoughts on this spray then please do stay tuned okay you guys so the urban decay all nighter spray this to me is like a dream i'm not kidding you i love this stuff now let me just do my uh, little disclaimer what works for me may not work for you guys um you know because all of our skin types are different you know my skin is surely different from somebody else's or yours or whoever we do not have the same um type of skin so you know it may work for me but it may not work for you so you know just if you want to try it then go ahead and try it and if it don't work for you then you know you may want to try something else but i'm just telling you what it does for me okay you guys so i love this stuff it is excellent you guys one of the best products that urban decay has come up with yet okay i love this now you guys the all-nighter long-lasting makeup setting spray looks like this and as you can see it comes in like a pump bottle okay and it has a top that comes with it okay but the top is probably in the back somewhere you guys but you get um let's see you get four ounces of product okay and if you really want to compare this to the uh fix plus you get um 3.4 fluid ounces in the fix plus and you get like i said before four ounces with the urban decay all nighter spray now i'm going to do a little bit of comparison with the two but that's going to come later in the video so yeah keep it locked but you guys with this spray this spray is formulated to last for 16 hours now let me tell you i cannot vouch for that because i never really so do i keep my makeup on for 16 hours but i will tell you that i have kept my makeup on for at least 10 hours and my makeup is fresh from the morning that I put it on until the evening that I take it off, my makeup is absolutely fresh if I use this Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. No kidding you, you guys. So, okay, you guys, with this Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, I will tell you that um, my skin is really, 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 really sensitive. I have to be very careful about what I put on my skin because I'm really prone to breakouts, okay, you guys? So, I have to be, like, very careful on um, what I put on my skin. And I was kind of like reluctant about using this because I just didn't know um but I'm glad I got it because it works out wonderful for me you guys it does not clog my pores it does not dry out my skin you guys at all it does not leave my skin feeling like sticky and tight you know how um sometimes you can put like a product on your face and it makes it feel like really 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 sticky or tight this does not do that for me you guys and that's another reason why i really do love it um let's see you guys it is for all um skin types okay whether you have oily skin dry skin sensitive skin you should be able to use this and it should be okay um it also is um formulated to resist moisture now let me tell you when i'm at work you guys i walk the floor a lot um so i sweat a lot i mean i really do sweat a lot and um I'm going to tell you something. My makeup is still in place. And I mean, I sweat bullets because I'm constantly like walking the halls. Okay. And my makeup, you guys, does not move. Like seriously, with this stuff, my makeup is applied like all day long. And it's like, it's amazing because I'm like, oh my gosh, I, you know, I check constantly to make sure my makeup is still in place while I'm at work. And true enough, it's still there. So, you know, I do sweat, um, you know makeup is still there all right you guys so with this urban decay all nighter spray i have worn this like in the hot weather and um i do not experience like um makeup meltdown and you guys know exactly what that is i do not experience that as long as i spray this spray on as well as you guys i wore you know wore this all winter long and um it helps you know even in the winter time when it's like really really cold outside it doesn't dry my skin out i love it okay i love it love it love it. also you guys if i didn't mention this urban decay all nighter spray is fragrance free which is good it's also paraben free and as far as the smell is concerned, it has like a fresh smell to it, okay? Um, nothing really strong that you can't like deal with. Just like a really, really, really nice, um, you know, fresh smell like the Fix Plus. Now, let me tell you guys, as far as the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and the Fix Plus is concerned, I really do not like to compare the two. And I'm going to tell you why. So, you guys, I would always swear by this MAC Fix Plus as a setting spray. I mean, I would fix my makeup and, you know, spritz my face down and bam, I thought I was really setting my 
uh, makeup until I ran across this. You guys, this, in my opinion, I may have a lot of people that might beg to differ, but this uh, MAC Fix Plus, in my opinion, is not a setting spray, you guys. It's not. This is more so like a refresher spray. Now, this is some good stuff. And I tell you, with the, Max, um, with the MAC Fix Plus, I do not run out of this. I love this stuff. I buy it by the bottles. So I'm not knocking it at all. I'm just, I just want you guys to know that this is not a setting spray. Okay? This is a setting spray. Now, like I said earlier, I used to swear by this. I used to set my makeup with this. But the difference is, is that my makeup would move throughout the day with this. Okay, you guys? My makeup does not move throughout the day with this. So that is the difference. This does not set your makeup. And you won't know what I'm talking about until you purchase this. Okay, you guys? So I know a lot of people use this as a setting spray, but it's really not. Okay? Like I said, it's really good to um, spritz your face down, especially in the hot weather when it's hot. Very good um, refresher. It's good for like, um, you know, your makeup, applying your makeup. You know, like if you have makeup that you want to apply wet or foiled, it's good for that. Okay, but this is, I will not consider this as a uh, setting spray. And like I said before, if you guys had this and you will see what I'm saying. Um, makeup will move. Your makeup will move with this. Okay, because this is not going to set it. It will not move with this. Mine's anyway. Okay, you guys. So, I really don't like to compare the two. I know a lot of people want to see a comparison between the two. But, um, yeah, there's no comparison. This is a setting spray. This is a refresher spray. Okay, you guys. Like I said, I may have a lot of people that beg to differ. But, this is my opinion, okay, you guys? Also, with this Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, um, what the makeup artist told me is to pretty much what you want to do with this spray is concentrate it on the areas that you want to last longer. Even your eyeshadow, although you did use your, your uh, primer, okay, you can still spray this like on your um, eyelid, okay? And I'm telling you, it is like ridiculous with my makeup. My makeup is looking always fresh. When I use this and then spritz my face with this, it's like, what? I mean, the makeup is looking like fresh all day long, you guys. I am not lying. So, if you want, like, your blush to stay on, um, you know, longer or your foundation or your eyeshadow or whatever, I just really spritz my whole face. But as I said before, the makeup artist just told me to concentrate this on whatever I want to stay on my face the longest, okay? So, if you're just really concentrating on your eyeshadow, you just spritz your ass, okay? Or your blush or what have you, okay, you guys? So, you guys, what they recommend you do is um, shake the product up really well. And, um, of course, you're going to apply your makeup. And then you're going to hold the bottle 8 to 10 inches away and mist your face two to four times. So, I usually do like three good times. And then I'll fan it out. And then I'm done. Okay, you guys? Um, so, I love this stuff. Now, some of you guys know that I use um, Avon Concealer. And I really, really, really love Avon Concealer. But the Avon Concealer really doesn't last a long time. Okay? It fades off, you know, like really, really, really quickly. So, it's really not long lasting. But if I use this with it, I notice that the um, concealer will last a very long time. So, I will apply my concealer. Okay, blend it in. And what I would do is I would spritz the areas where I put my concealer. Fan it out dry okay then i will apply the rest of my makeup and then i will spritz my face again and i'm telling you this stuff just it's wonderful you guys it just works like a dream for me okay i love this um some people may think that it's a little expensive for 29 dollars um but in my opinion it is the best 29 dollars that i've ever spent like this stuff is great and like i said before it may not work for you you know, you never know till you try. It may not work for you, but it works, like, wonderful. For me and my skin type, it works wonderful, okay? I love it, you guys. So, you guys, let me tell you, if you don't want to purchase the large bottle, okay, the 4-ounce bottle, you can always invest <clears throat> in the trial size, okay? And here's what the trial size look like. I'm going to hold the two um, side by side so you can see the difference. All right, so that's what it looks like. That is the comparison. 
um and this is a three a zero point three four fluid ounce okay so it's really small okay you guys but i recommend you do get this and try it out to see how you like it before you invest in the bigger bottle okay you guys and i actually picked the smaller bottle up from um sephora and sephora has it for nine dollars and I think Alta has it as well. I think Alta has it for 11 So try Sephora, okay? So when I brought this, it was $9. I'm not sure how much now, but it was $9 when I purchased it. And um, when I purchased this small bottle, I knew I had to have the larger size. So I just went on and paid the $29 um, for the larger size, you guys. Okay, so I'm sure you guys may want to know my pros and my cons. Because, of course, everything comes with a pro and a con. Okay, so let's start with my pro. The pro is, is that um, for me, this spray does exactly what it says, you guys. I have, you know, I'm so reluctant about some products, you know, because they say they're going to do it, but they really don't do what they say. For me, you guys, this does exactly what it says. This stuff makes my makeup just, it's just amazing to me, like really like a bottle of spray will just like have your makeup stay on long like that it should, it's amazing you guys so that's my pro the pro is that it does exactly what it says okay this stuff is just amazing i love it okay i love it i love it i love it and now the con you guys um the only con that i have with this product has got to be the bottle okay I, I don't really care for the bottle i mean the way the product comes out it comes out as a nice fine mist but i wish that they would put it in a bottle like the fix plus because i really love um the fix plus bottle i like the fact that it locks okay love that so it's really good for travel all you have to do is lock it and you're good you know you're not going to lose product if it's in your bag and it presses up against something you're not going to lose any of your product with this here, you have got to make sure the top is on because uh, if you lose the top, of course, and you try to stick it in your bag for travel, um, it can hit up to hit up against something in your bag, of course, and you can lose product. It has happened to me, and I know, you know, it can happen. So that is the con, is the bottle, okay? So, yeah, you guys, that would be the only con um, that I have with this product because... Other than that, it's just it's a wonderful product. I really and truly do love this stuff. This is just like one of the things that Urban Decay has come out with that I really do enjoy. And I will pay $29 any day for more of it. Okay, you guys, I love it, love it, love it. And if I didn't mention, you guys, this product is oil-free. So um, for my girls out there or, or guys that suffer from like oily skin as I do, you know, you don't have to worry because this is oil free. So I really do love this product, you guys. I really do love it. So you guys, um, that is my take on the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Hopefully I was not all over the place um, with this video. But I do tell you guys, um, seriously, I love this spray. It is so good. It is so good. You guys, I love it. Like I said before, if you don't want to invest in the larger bottle, do try the smaller bottle, okay? Um, and when you do, let me know, you know, let me know what you think about it. I'm not expecting for everybody to, you know, just like love this product as much as I do. I'm not expecting that because I know what I might like, you may not like. But, um, it's doing me really well and I'm so, I'm pleased. I'm so pleased. Um, like I said before, I will never be rid of my Fix Plus because this stuff is amazing. Okay, it's really good to use for your eyeshadows. Um, it's really good to use as a facial mist. I love it. It's really good to use as far as um, putting on your foundations with. I love it for that. But as far as a setting spray, all day long. So, you guys, that is my take on the um, Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that this video helped somebody um, out. And, yeah, you guys, um, that is it. So, if you have any questions or concerns, please do comment down below. What I will do is I will leave... Um, a few links at the bottom to where you can find this spray at. Okay, you guys? And that is it. So I love you guys. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.